More outnumbered in just a moment. First, let's go to Jenna Lee with what's coming up in the second hour of Happening Now. Hey, Jenna. Hi there, Harris. Next hour, we have some brand new headlines just released from the president telling the Atlantic magazine that the U.S. is not losing the war against ISIS. The president making the comments in an interview and says the loss of Ramadi to ISIS terrorists was a tactical setback. He also says more. We'll get into it. Also, we're awaiting reaction to new emails leaked to the New York Times from Hillary Clinton's time as Secretary of State. They seem to suggest she was worried about the political impact of the Benghazi terror attack. Chris Wallace will weigh in on that. And a bill to give the president fast-track trade authority, clearing a key hurdle in the Senate today. It looks to be headed for approval in the Senate, but its fate in the House remains murky. So something we're watching in Washington, D.C., and we'll see you at the top of the hour. Sounds good. Thanks. One mom is fighting back after her son brought home a permission slip for his school's sixth-grade pool party. It said, all girls must wear a non-white T-shirt over their swimsuits. She refused to sign it, writing instead that the rule promotes body shaming. She also emailed the school principal saying, quote, setting one standard for half the student body only promotes the ideas that girls' bodies are naturally shameful. After taking her argument to the superintendent, the school reportedly made the t-shirt rule optional. And after the party, the mom says her son told her none of the girls wore a t-shirt over their suits anyway. Shocker. Mm. Oh, so what about... <laughs> You've got girls not far off from these ages. What do you think? It's body shaming? I think the bigger question is you have boys. Don't they have hormones? Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> well, that's so I'm going to tell my girls to cover up, Buttercup, but I don't need somebody telling me to do that. No, well, I, I, see, I'll do that if I want. Second, see schools some set standards. They that's do. Right. They do. And they, they do. We don't need a bunch of hormone-filled young men. Like so I quick, was. So quick update you know, on this because there yeah. was there was specifics on the boys. Um, they were told no speedos. Okay. Well, thank the good Lord for that. <laughs> Again, you don't need to send me a anyway. note to tell me that. that. <laughs> don't you think, though, honestly, you gave the update, but wouldn't the rule have been more balanced if they had just said both, both male and female wear T-shirts? I'm just trying to see so. where they're coming from here. I mean, well, what do you think they're coming from? I think Harris. I think Harris <laughs> sums it up. No, Harris sums it up. Girls these days are wearing That's these exactly itsy right. bitsy string bikinis. Okay. Yes, even in the sixth grade. And as much as you want parents to make responsible choices and say you're not wearing that to a mm -hmm. pool party, they won't. And Harris is right. Boys have hormones, and yeah. they're just trying to keep them from doing. You know, and what yeah. Why can't a school <laughs> set a standard? <laughs> they should why be can't able they to. set a, a dress code standard? They're, I don't think there's. They're perfectly anything. within their right to do that. They should have caved into this. This mother, who I think is, I, I do find it much interesting that the mom of a son who might yeah, be right. hormone driven right. was taking exception <laughs> to not her, her son. Yes, um, was taking exception to this though. I, I'm a little confused by that. So, what didn't she like? Because if there were also rules for the boys, right? What was the problem? I and think what's this wrong is with modesty? I, exactly. What's wrong with modesty? But I think what it is is this bigger thing that's happening in feminism. It used to be that feminism was about you know protecting women from people who might oogle them and whatever. You know, in the 70s, they were anti-porn. Now, this whole body shaming is this sort but of trend. Okay. Isn't the first so, in this how about case, the though? health Feminism. concerns here? Because I go to a lot of pools right now. I have two little kids. <laughs> oh no! And it's actually not healthy to wear, like you know, cotton clothing into the pools. Why? It, it brings in bacteria from oh. the outside. That's why you're supposed to shower oh. off. Wait, so they want them to wear the t-shirts in the pool? I just thought yeah. that they were just wearing them too. No, they don't. Oh, no. in, in the pool. So why not get one of those rash guards? I have those yeah. for my girls. They're oh super cute. They block the sun. They go with the swimsuit. They're expensive. But so that's they why they, no. did, but they did the t-shirt because they didn't want to have the parents have to pay for something extra. So if they said you have to wear a one piece, some parents would say they didn't have enough money. That's why they I, chose I don't get, to do the they had the, They were in the pool with the t-shirts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I could say some, but I'm not going to say I must be cheap. Yeah. So, so I'm, just, I'm just still suit. trying to wrap my head around one a bunch of sixth grade girls. boys wearing banana hammocks. Yeah. Oh, my. Yucky. What's yeah. that? It's in the memo, Sandra. <laughs> mirror, mirror <laughs> on the wall. Who's the vainest of them all? A new survey that finally proves that men are more into themselves uh, than women. Never. And what our hashtag one lucky guy thinks about that. It was so awesome that Charlie's... What's